Anyone who has used a garden hose with a nozzle that concentrates the water into a powerful jet stream understands the concept behind a new drilling system under development by Impact Technologies. The Oklahoma company is developing techniques for using high-powered streams of water mixed with abrasive particles to revolutionize all types of drilling applications. The genesis or the, the seed from all of it came out of the oil and gas business. Ken Oglesby is the president of Impact Technologies. He says traditional drilling, whether it's an oil well, a water well, or a geothermal well, requires using metal drill bits to bore down into the earth. And they basically gouge the rock. We don't do that. Uh, we don't even have to contact the rock. We're right uh, next to it, and we're basically eroding the rock ahead of it with very high velocity particles. The concept caught the attention of the U.S. Department of Energy. That's because this technique has the potential to make drilling deep into the earth to tap nature's own thermal energy much cheaper and easier. The DOE gave Impact Technologies a nearly two and a half million dollar grant to help it develop the new drilling technique. The problem with geothermal is the high cost to drill and complete those wells. Now uh, that cost comes from uh, going so deep. Uh, it comes from uh, hitting hard rock and having trouble drilling through it. And anytime you have slow drilling, your costs just really go up. Bringing down the cost of drilling geothermal wells would make the Earth's own heat as an energy source much more versatile and practical. Deep geothermal wells could be used to generate steam to produce enough electricity to power whole communities. While shallow geothermal wells could be used by individual homeowners and small businesses to drive down the cost of heating and cooling their buildings. On just real shallow geothermal, you're looking at savings of 70% of the energy and 50% off of your uh, utility bill. Oglesby estimates his company's new technique is about eight years away from being ready for wide-scale use. He adds, using his concept will have one more advantage over traditional forms of drilling. The equipment for most jobs would fit on small trailers instead of requiring massive drilling rigs. In Creek County, I'm Kathy Tatum, the Oklahoma News Report.